finding out that a lifelong friend is in a fight for his life is a lot like being blindsided by an outside linebacker. And that's exactly what happened to my buddy. He never saw cancer coming. When I was originally diagnosed with ACC, they found a tumor the size of a football on my left kidney. I had it surgically removed along with my left kidney and my left adrenal gland, and everything was fine for about four years. He goes and gets another checkup, and we find out that it's back. I had uh, four inches of my lung removed. After my lung surgery, about four months after that, they found the cancer had moved to my liver. I had two-thirds of my liver removed, the entire right lobe and my gallbladder. My heart stopped. I didn't, I mean, we, we thought he was cancer-free. I mean, most of the time, you, if the cancer hasn't come back, you're home free, and I guess he wasn't. Adrenocortical carcinoma is a very rare cancer of the adrenal gland. ACC is an extremely aggressive cancer with few initial symptoms, leading to a late diagnosis. And by the time the cancer is diagnosed, ACC has usually spread to the other organs in the body. This leads to a poor five-year survival rate of only 20%. Adrenal cortical cancer affects about one in 1.7 million people a year. Patients have a hard time finding a doctor that has experience with it. Most people in your hometown are gonna have never seen one. So this is a tumor that normally grows quite large before it's detected because it causes few symptoms. In fact, somewhere around half of the people that have this disease have already had metastases by the time it's detected. The research that had been uh, underway uh, was admirable, but it wasn't, there wasn't anything that was specifically dedicated to ACC. So I thought uh, starting the attack fund, we could put a face on ACC and go out and show people that this rare cancer needed support too. Troy went on the offensive. His goal was to fund full-time research for ACC. And Troy didn't have to look further than his hometown of Phoenix, Arizona, the home of the Translational Genomics Research Institute. A valued colleague in Tucson called up and said, what other ideas do you have so that we can try to do the best we can for this man? And um, that, that gave us a chance to meet Troy. And uh, it really started the effort with the help of a tremendous number of people. Dr. Mike Demure, totally devoted. Dr. Liz Stefan, fantastic investigator. But also uh, people from the National Cancer Institute. Everybody's been rallying around them, this young man. Now, it took somebody with the guts to start it and say, hey, you know, let's get some studies done on this disease. One of the reasons TGen is unique is that we can do things that maybe only three or four places in the world can do it. We have the latest technology and the people that have the knowledge and the dedication to apply that technology. And here we have a rare disease that very few people were even studying. And we have the opportunity to use these great technologies and these very intelligent people's skills to fight this disease. We analyze this rare cancer in order to figure out genetically what is different between the cancer and normal adrenal cells. Once we understand what is going wrong in these tumor cells, we can target those proteins, those genes, or those pathways with therapies to either stop the growth of these tumors or shrink the tumors themselves. We're interested in beating the disease and we're interested in getting drugs to the people as fast as we can. That's their goal. They want to help people. They want bench to bedside as fast as possible. And people with ACC need that, and they need people to be in a hurry. And we're in a hurry with this project. I think probably the greatest advance so far with the ACC research that's going on is that we've nailed the fact that the problem in this disease is that therapies can't get in to the ACC cells. If the therapies can't get in, they can't work. We think we have some agents now that get into these tumors and we hope to have one or two of these in clinical trials before the end of the year. And we're pushing as fast as possible to make that happen. After some very trying times, Troy and his family started having a feeling of hope knowing that his attack project was well underway. The reason I'm so excited about the work at TGen and ACC is that I'm a doctor and I see these patients. 
and I'm excited that I have the opportunity to work with such a great team to develop new treatments. It's critically important to raise money for diseases like ACC because it will help advance our understanding of other diseases and it's going to help a group of people, a population of patients that have nowhere else to turn. You just need to focus on the disease. There have been tremendous advances. The mortality is falling like a rock for women with breast cancer, falling like a rock for men with prostate cancer. Why? People focused on it. And once people get a focus on the disease, the, the advances come rather rapidly. So I can easily stand here and say that I've seen it be repeated over and over again. And I say, why not adrenal cortical carcinoma? And I think Troy and I and Mike Demure and Liz all resonated with that. Why not ACC? Combating rare orphan diseases like ACC with little support for research is like playing ball by yourself in an empty stadium. It's a cry against millions, but even the smallest voices can be heard and make a difference. The ACC project at TGen has finally given us hope for better treatments and maybe even someday a cure. Not years from now, because some of us don't have years. We need people's support because rare cancers need a cure too.